What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Um, it's 9.35 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here in California. Hope everyone had a great weekend. We're going to be looking at Tesla. I want to kind of go over something and show you guys how, you know, you guys can avoid getting faked out, right? So a lot of times, even myself, when we're watching uh, a lot of stocks and we're watching price action, you can start to develop a lot of FOMO. You can start to develop a lot of feelings uh, when it comes to trading. You want to get in the trade. You want to, you want, you don't want to miss out on the move. And you know everyone else is making money. But I want to show you a perfect example on Tesla. How if you would have taken the first move, you would have maybe potentially gotten stopped out or put yourself through a whole lot of you know mental stress that you really didn't need to kind of put yourself through. So. I've got a few supply and demand zones marked out here on Tesla. Some of those zones that I've got marked out uh, first is going to be the pre-market highs, 179.91. So if Tesla was going to get up there, which it actually, you know, tried to make that attempt right off the open. But if Tesla was to close over 170, uh, 179.91 and then confirm, I was going to go ahead and go long. What we were looking at was the pre-market lows of 173.24, somewhere in that vicinity. Now, if you kind of look at the chart here and look at the second five minute candle after the open, which is gonna be this candle right here. If we kind of look at this candle here, this candle broke pre-market lows. And this is where a lot of new traders get trapped, right? This is where you start to get excited. This is where you feel like you, 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 know, you did your research, you have a good game plan. You know, it breaks those pre-market lows. Tesla's, you know, been on a multiple day run up. We've got a lot of room to go down and you kind of, you know, you jump into that short position. Lo and to behold to get trapped, right? So if you look at, if you would have entered at 173.24, literally this reverses in the same five minute candle and in within 10 minutes puts in a high of 178.79. We are talking about a three, four, five point move almost here on tesla where you would have essentially been trapped within minutes now when you get into a trade like that that could send all types of emotions flowing maybe you sold and took a, a really big loss and then you you tried to chase and go long and if you kind of look at what happened here we got rejected and then we dropped right so how do you actually make money how do you actually kind of navigate through that now this is not going to work 100 percent of the time of course not but what it does is cuts down the errors, the human errors that we make by being too overzealous, right? So when we're overzealous, we see the price coming down, we take that first entry, it reverses, we get stopped out, we try to chase it long, we get stopped out, and then we come back, you know, at the end of the day and we look and it's like we would have made money if we just would have held, right? Easier said than done. So what I like to do is if my level here is the pre-market lows at around 173.24, uh, I want it to break that price action, right? Whether we close below there or, you know, we wick up like we did here, I just want it to break. I want the bears to show me, hey, we've got, we've got troops here, we're ready, we, you know, let's crack this price action, let's consolidate, let's, you know, continue to drop, whatever. I just need it to break. As soon as I see it break, okay, I needed to either confirm that low break on the next candle, right, which it did not, or I needed to consolidate or bounce, which it did. And then when we lose this for the second time, that's my entry full size, 100% of the time I'm going to go in. I'm going to go. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to go. So I was trading with one of the members in Discord. By the way, if you guys want to trade with us each and every single day live, make sure to join uh, the Discord down below in the description box but we got in here again on this second entry at around 725 pacific standard time when this broke the second time and you can see when we confirmed the new lows the second time we really started to move right so we started to move and if you kind of look at that entry price here all you would have had to have done was literally wait below 172.72 and it went from that price all the way down to 168 fantastic move when you're getting two three four points on a stock especially a stock like tesla in a matter of 5 10 15 20 30 minutes guys that's a home run trade you cannot ask for any more we're not looking for this to go down another 20 points we're not looking for this to go down 100 points we're not looking to make a thousand percent what we're looking to do is allow the trades to come to us remain calm trust our technical analysis and trust our risk management meaning that if this would have failed here and it would have springboarded up and closed back over the 20 
exit the trade, understand that we were wrong, understand that there's always going to be another trade and continue to move on. This is how you can avoid getting faked out on trades is by allowing it to break price action and confirm lower right away or allowing it to break price action, consolidate sideways or bounce and then re-lose that area that we are initially looking for and go through that pivot on the second entry. That's what I call a second entry. If you guys want to learn exactly what a first second uh, entry is, you guys want to learn my style of trading, go to evolutiontraders.com. You guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But if I, I think about it like this, if if we are if we're going to war, do I want to be the first man breaking through the line by myself, right? Which is this right here, or do I kind of want to wait right in the middle, and then allow that cavalry to come through with me? I'd rather have a bunch of backup coming with me on the second wave, on the second attack, rather than being that first man through the gates. I hope that makes sense. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I'll be doing a lot more. Uh, pre-market live streams in the morning so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned to that a lot more trainings a lot more things going down in discord so again if you guys are serious and you don't want to be on a late train make sure to join the discord so you guys can at least be around other traders who are doing this on a day and day basis rather than just kind of spinning your wheels in the dirt i'll see you guys on the next video take care much love uh, make sure to practice good risk management and good luck